Hi, I'm going to show you to, um, how to get basically all the NFTs that somebody owns on Solana just from their public key. So to do that, uh, first let's just consider this NFT here. Uh, it has, it's, uh, we're on the block explorer for Solana. There, you know, it's just, it's a basic NFT. It's got the name, the symbol, the URI, and, uh, and then the person who owns it is, uh, this person here, uh, denoted by this address. Um, they uh, also probably own other NFTs, and you can tell because it's probably uh, an NFT that has a balance of one. Um, so there's this one D8. Let's see. That's an, another NFT. It ends in D8. Um, yeah, so this is a, an egg. Because, uh, uh, you know, who wouldn't want an, uh, an NFT of an egg? Uh, it's a pretty beautiful egg. Um so now we can get just the full list of that. So it's actually pretty easy. So to do that, we just go to docs.theblockchainapi.com. And um, once you go there, you're, you know, you're going to need some uh, just an API key pair. You can do that on the dashboard. We'll do that in a second. Um, and then you go to Solana. And it, oh, sorry. You go to the Solana wallet and you get an address as NFTs. And so it's as simple as going over to Python, importing requests. And then let's say API key ID equals AP and then because we're going to get these in a second and that because we need to uh, provide them to be able to be able to authenticate. So once you uh, sign in here, just get the keys. And uh, let's make sure we and then we'll format the headers for this request. So it's just one request. That's what we're formatting now to get the uh, wallets to get the wallets and FTs. So if you go here, see this is get addresses and FTs. If you go here and click headers, we can get the proper key for the headers. All right. And then, uh, then we want to see, okay, what do we have to provide? So we just have to provide the public key. We can, we should also provide the network. Uh, this is a, as you can see up here. This is mainnet, so the default devnet, so we have to provide that. And we can also filter based off of the uh, candy machine ID. So this will basically say, let's say you have uh, created some sort of, uh, let's say you've created a candy machine with, a Met with Metaplex, and you want to be able to uh, just say, okay, how many of my NFTs does this person own? Then you can filter by your candy machine ID. So uh, let's just say public key. Let's just, let's ignore that for now, but let's just uh, use the public key of the address. So we'll say, let's just say none for now. Uh, network, we know it's gonna be mainnet beta. Okay, let's go get the, uh, the public key from here. Oh wait, uh, it's this person. So we know the address is here. Okay. So now let's get, I believe it's get request, yeah. Um, and to get the URL for it, it actually lists the URL that we need to access it right here. So we just copy and paste that. And then, and we're almost done actually. Okay, so now we can see basically actually all the NFTs that they own. So it's actually a pretty long list. So we should actually just say, we should actually just filter it. I mean, we should actually just uh, print each one individually to be able to read it better. Okay, so yeah, they own a lot. Um, I don't know who this person is, but uh, let's see, they got golden ticket. Mari Calvin. Okay, so these are, are different ones. You'll notice there's this creators thing. Usually one of these is the candy machine ID if it was created with a candy machine. Um, so the way we can figure out which one's the candy machine ID is by comparing what the um, what the program, what the update authority is. Because the update authority is an actual person's account. Okay, so look. So see, they actually own several, four NFTs four or five NFTs 
the five NFT is made by this person. Um, and we'll see here that, uh, yeah, it's right there. So we can actually say, we can now filter and say, I just want um, the NFTs from this candy machine, which is basically, basically this collection of NFTs uh, and see which ones does this person own. And now we just rerun it. And now we get these five. Let, now let's see the name. Okay, that's kind of weird that the name's just a number. Uh, but if you know, look here, it's all the same URL. Um, see what it is. Uh, 10,000 cute and cruel piggies. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's how you do it. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to email info at theblockchainapi.com or leave an issue on our GitHub. Thank you.